Hey, what's up, YouTube? All right, listen. You can personally choose, because this is America, you can choose any way you like to dispose of your fluorescent tubes. Your circle line bulbs, your CFLs, your, two, your straight fluorescent tubes, as we're going to show in this humorous satire video coming up, how to dispose of fluorescent tubes is really how not to dispose of fluorescent tubes. Each fluorescent bulb contains like a like a period sentence dot in a printed book amount of mercury. Mercury is a neurotoxin. It's very potent to the humans, to animals, to plants. Now just to show you, I don't fool around here in the handyman zone. We've been recycling our mercury from thermostats and thermometers for the past five years. This is about a tablespoon of mercury here, sealed container. This is enough to poison a lake, five square mile lake, and, and bring every life form in that lake, every fish, crustacean, sea allergy, uh, way above the federal limits as far as mercury neurotoxins. I'm going to show you some other stuff we recycle right now here in the handyman zone. Hey, I ain't fooling around. Here's the dead battery bucket. We recycle our batteries here. We take these to the municipal waste management facility. That's about 35 pounds of batteries right there. I do that about twice a year. Coming on into the workshop over here. Show you the rest of our recycling facilities here at the handyman zone. Here is our electronics recycling bucket. In here we'll find s smoke detectors, ballasts, uh, all kinds of electronic devices um, that don't work anymore. And all of these contain various uh, heavy metals, regular metals, plastics, uh, oils, and stuff like that. And these all go to the Municipal Recycling Center here in the town of North Hempstead on Long Island. And uh, smoke detectors, smoke alarms, they all have a radioactive element in them. They're highly toxic, and they all should be recycled. This is money, money recycling. We have our scrap brass bucket over there. That's probably about, right now, about $160 worth of scrap brass. We have our uh, wiring, unstripped uh, wiring there. We don't get as much money for that. That's probably about $15, $20 worth of wiring, and that's safe for the copper. And then we have our aluminum bucket back there. And the aluminum prices aren't that great these days, but still, that's probably about 30 bucks worth of aluminum there. So we do practice a major recycling program here at the Handyman Zone, so don't be dissing on me about, uh, you know, messing up the environment there. In the meantime, there's a small amount of mercury that remains in each component of a fluorescent bulb. It's about 5 milligrams per bulb. Mercury is a hazardous material. There's a risk of exposure should the fluorescent lamp break. It's also important to consider that mercury is also released by coal-burning power plants. And since fluorescent tubes save about 30% energy over a regular Thomas Edison-style light bulb, even though there is mercury in the tubes, in the long run, supposedly, there's less mercury released into the environment because there's less energy produced at these coal-fired power plants because the fluorescent tubes save energy. I don't know. If you could figure that out, you got one over on me. But anyway, there's a lot of other stuff in these mercury, in these uh, tubes, these fluorescent tubes. So the best thing to do with your fluorescent tubes and your CFL screw-in curly Q bulbs is take them back to the retailer. Most of the larger retailers have recycling programs. And since I'm not getting paid by any of these retail stores, I only get paid by YouTube because I am a paid YouTube partner. I won't be mentioning any names, but these large home centers, usually over by the return desk, they'll have a little collection center for the um, fluorescent bulbs. And since most of the bulbs in that collection center are cracked, I personally consider that area a hazardous waste area, and um, I hold my breath when I go over there, put my bulbs in, quickly clear out. 
But when you bring to these recycling centers, they probably dispose of these bulbs and they collect the metal end caps are melted down and reused in metal products. The glass is crushed and either reused in glass products or used as an aggregate in uh, blacktop and asphalt. They collect the phosphor, which is the white powder inside the glass, and they reuse that. And they collect the mercury out of the bulbs, and they reuse that in lighting products. Because not only do fluorescents have the mercury in them, but so do sodium vapor lamps, mercury, high-pressure mercury vapor lamps, um, HID lamps. A lot of these, uh, like parking lot lights and lights you see going up and down the roadways, the street lamps, they all have mercury in them. These lights all offer a significant energy savings over conventional lighting, but they do contain toxic amounts of mercury. So watch this little spoof video I've made for you on how not to dispose of your fluorescent tubes. But like I said, being an American, you have a choice to dispose of your tubes any way you see fit. Just uh, stand up wind. <laughs> One more in the long line of Handyman's Own videos. It's Dino the Handyman here, your YouTube Handyman. The one and only paid YouTube Handyman partner. Okay, fluorescent bulbs. A lot of municipalities, a lot of garbage guys, they won't take those. Especially the eight-footers. Uh, so what do you do with them? Everybody's like perplexed. I'm going to show you right now how to dispose properly. Uh, old burnt out fluorescent tubes. The first thing you're going to need is safety, some kind of glasses over your eyes. You're going to need uh, a pair of gloves, okay, and something to like knock uh, uh, various things. Okay, you're going to need a garbage bag or a paper bag, shopping bag, something like that. Okay, here's a fluorescent tube. Note, I'm holding one hand inside the garbage bag. Then from the outside of the garbage bag, I'm going to take some kind of tool and holding the tube against the ground. Gonna, uh, and this is the fun part. I'm just gonna crack it up. And, uh, all right, so I use that tube, tool. Uh, I find that uh, I also stand upwind of it. Let that crap. It's something with an edge on it. Some kind of edgy tool to so break these things up. See that it's got that dust in it. So you definitely want to stand upwind. Now we're going to uh, now WWF or WWE. Man, they smash these things over each other's heads. This is a wrench. That seems to work the best. I guess the weight behind it. Now we're going to do two at once. Oh, you know, you know, that's how you dispose of fluorescent tubes. We made that big fluorescent tube thing down into a, into a small pile of debris that, that all the garbage, all the municipalities will now take this. You won't have any trouble disposing it. Guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget, I'm a paid partner here on YouTube. If you rate and comment, it really helps me out. If you subscribe to my channel, it's like the biggest thing you can do for me. So, rate, comment, and sub. We'll see you later.